Welcome. Before we start, I just want to ask you, when you finish listening to this video, that you access the link in the pinned comments. Now you will have a moment of reflection and inspiration in a special devotional designed to prepare your heart and mind for the blessings that the new day offers. Then we will say a powerful morning prayer together to start your day with purpose and gratitude. Exodus 25 to 6 says, Oil for the light, my soul, how much thou needest this, for thy lamp will not long continue to burn without it. Thy snuff will smoke and become an offense if light be gone, and gone it will be if oil be absent. Thou hast no oil well springing up in thy human nature, and therefore thou must go to them that sell and buy for thyself, or like the foolish virgins, thou wilt have to cry, my lamp is gone out. Even the consecrated lamps could not give light without oil. Though they shone in the tabernacle, they needed to be fed. Though no rough winds blew upon them, they required to be trimmed, and thy need is equally as great. Under the most happy circumstances, thou canst not give light for another hour unless fresh oil of grace be given thee. It was not every oil that might be used in the Lord's service. Neither the petroleum which exudes so plentifully from the earth, nor the produce of fishes, nor that extracted from nuts would be accepted. One oil only was selected, and that the best olive oil. Pretended grace from natural goodness, fancied grace from priestly hands, or imaginary grace from outward ceremonies will never serve the true saint of God. He knows that the Lord would not be pleased with rivers of such oil. He goes to the olive press of Gethsemane and draws his supplies from him who was crushed therein. The oil of gospel grace is pure and free from lees and dregs, and hence the light which is fed thereon is clear and bright. Our churches are the Savior's golden candelabra, and if they are to be lights in this dark world, they must have much holy oil. Let us pray for ourselves, our ministers, and our churches, that they may never lack oil for the light. Truth, holiness, joy, knowledge, love, these are all beams of the sacred light, but we cannot give them forth unless in private we receive oil from God the Holy Ghost. Now I want you to say this prayer with me. Heavenly Father, as I rise this morning, I recognize my deep need for the oil of your Spirit to keep my lamp burning bright. Without your grace, my light will fade and my witness will be dim. Lord, I come to you, the source of all true light, asking for a fresh outpouring of your Spirit. Let my life be a vessel filled with your holy oil so that I may shine brightly in a world that desperately needs your light. Lord, I acknowledge that even the consecrated lamps in your tabernacle required constant care and fresh oil to continue burning. Likewise, I cannot sustain my spiritual light without your continual grace. Under the most favorable circumstances, I am still in need of your Spirit's daily renewal. Fill me with your grace today so that I may reflect your glory and offer light to those around me. Father, I understand that not just any oil will suffice for your service. Only the pure oil of your gospel grace, drawn from the crushing of Christ in Gethsemane, can truly sustain my spirit. I reject any false sources of strength, whether they be from human effort, religious rituals, or outward ceremonies. I come to you alone knowing that only your grace can fuel the light that you have placed within me. Lord, as I draw my strength from you, let the light of my life be clear and bright, free from any impurities that could dim its glow. Just as your churches are called to be golden candelabras in this dark world, I pray that my life too may shine as a beacon of hope, love, and truth. Let my light be a testimony of your goodness drawing others to the warmth of your presence. Finally, Father, I lift up my prayers for myself, my leaders, and my church. May we never lack the holy oil needed to keep our lights burning. Fill us with truth, holiness, joy, knowledge, and love beams of your sacred light that can only be fueled by your Spirit. 
Let our lives and our community be a source of light in this world, always reflecting your glory. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. If you are blessed by this message, type the word amen in the comments section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you, and in the name of Jesus, you can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member who you know needs the blessing of this prayer, and by clicking the like button. Also, remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all those who support us. You're blessed to be a blessing. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comments section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. Also, we invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. And we want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you are not prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan. Stand in faith with us while we pray. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. For you who stayed until the end, I have a gift. If you want to receive and access powerful prayers that can bless you with divine gifts and manifest wealth and abundance in your life, listen to the one-minute prayer now by accessing the link in the pinned comments.